So now he's in this position, he's staying in that posterior tilt, tucking under. Now we're going to get him to do some breathing. So he's going to breathe in through his nose and then full exhale out his mouth. He's going to pull his ribs down and tuck under, 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 under. And he's keeping that pelvic tilt, all right? Nice slow breath out, Das, like you're blowing out a candle. G'day guys, Jason Das here. Today we're doing a video on if your hammies are really tight and stretching's not working. So the reason for this is if Das turns to the side here facing this way, if you've got an anterior pelvic tilt, so you're tilting down, those hammies are already tight. So then if you're trying to go down and stretch them further, that position is just lengthening those hamstrings even more. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do treatment on Das to help to flush out and um, create that neuromuscular connection. So by doing the deep body work, we can clean out the muscle. And then we're gonna go through an exercise to help to retrain Das's muscle to actually create some shortening in there um, and get that pelvic tilt, uh, tilting posteriorly. All right, so we'll get him on the table and we'll get into it. So go on face down there, Das. Oh, I've been needing this man. Keen. Yeah, so if you've been struggling and you're constantly stretching your hammies, that's what people are telling you to do. Yep. You might actually need some treatment through here first. Um, yeah, because those muscles are stuck in that lengthened position already. So yeah, a lot of people think muscles are short and tight, but they can actually be long and tight. So you can be stuck in that lengthened position. Yeah. So just starting off with a broader stroke. Just feeling for where we might feel some tightness through that muscle. Oh yeah. That's bloody good. So yeah, just trying to create some flow back through the hammies. Oh, yep. Feeling a little bit of a block coming up for Das. Yep. Just clear it out. So yeah, it is a pretty common common thing that we see in people with that anterior pelvic tilt um, and yeah, not being able to actually activate your hamstrings. So a lot of people's hammies are actually weak. They don't do a lot of concentric contraction of the hamstrings. Oh, so that's the shortening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we'll do one more. Sorry to interrupt your video guys, but we're just going to advertise our Patreon platform where we post every day, exclusive content, no towels, just us blokes having fun treating each other. So if you want to see some MMT action every day, jump over there and you will be very happy. Yeah. Coming down the medial side of that hammy, so starting up high where it attaches. Yep. And then we're going to scoop it down, clearing Whoa. it away. Trying to increase the blood flow, get some hydration back in the tissues. Oh yeah, man. If you're someone that sits down a lot and you don't get a lot of movement through your hammies, even just, uh, yeah, getting up and moving around a lot more throughout the day will help. But yeah, this treatment is gonna help to get rid of any pain, but that ongoing tightness that you feel. Oh, it's bloody good, man. It's definitely some tightness in there. Yeah. Oh. Tracing all the way down. Staying connected, so we're going with the rate that the tissue's allowing, so not trying to force it, but yeah, the speed of the stroke is just going for, start, you start to slow up as you start to feel some blocks in the tissue there, yeah. and then it starts to release, oh. and we can move through a bit more. Oh, yeah. Oh, our treatment's so good, man. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Once we're happy, we've found where we know the tension is, we can start to use a bit of a deeper tool, get the hammy, get the elbow into the hammy up there. So up into that sit bone, Ooh, yep. sink down. Oh. We're angling up, so my pressure's going up that way, oh. up under the glute fold. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. we're just gonna hold. Yeah. So waiting for it to melt. So the key is just holding oh. and waiting for that tissue to soften. We're not trying to move through too quickly. And then once Das has accepted that pressure, then we can start to move. Staying at that depth, we're not easing up and then sinking back in, it's just one con constant pressure. How are we going, Das? Yeah, it feels awesome, man. Oh, I guess my tension in my hamstrings built up from you know the, the weekly ritual of doing deadlifts and squats, but also running around playing footy throughout the week, so. I'm well overdue. We, we sort of rolled the dice before of whose who's chance it is to get treatment, and I was wrapped that uh, it was me. Happy to win out, weren't you, Happy Dars? to win, mate. Absolutely. Anybody watching, you just can't um, understand. You can't even explain how 
how good this feels. It's a th yeah, therapeutic pain, isn't it, Dars? Yeah, like, yeah. Just... Can, you can hit some spots where it's a struggle to go through, yeah. but yeah, you know it's going to do, do some good for you. Yeah. Oh. Clearing out some of those blocks. We can feel lower downs, tighter oh. for Dars. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty there. Oh. So oh. yeah, we're just broadening our pressure because it does get a bit ropey down towards the knee. Oh, yeah, far out. Staying connected. Getting feedback from the client that they're able to tolerate it and it's not too traumatic for them because we don't want the pain to be feeling like it's worse and aggravating it, but it's that productive pain level. <laughs> he's blowing bubbles under the table. <laughs> or he's doing the motorboat, either one. <laughs> yeah, he's motorboating. <laughs> oh. So now we're going to go more medial. So, yeah. <laughs> Sinking right in there. It's a bit oh! tight. Oh, yeah. A bit, <laughs> bit tighter up in the medial oh. hammy for Das. Oh. Oh. You can feel a little bit of a rope in there. So, we're just going to sit there. Wait for Darth to calm down. Any referral pain, Darth? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's going into the back of the knee and yeah, even up in and around to my groin. Oh. Yeah. yeah so you can get some referral pains. So that's quite common. That's a good sign that we're clearing out some blocks. Yeah. Unraveling that nervous system. Yeah. Oh, it's oh. oh, really good. And just doing these little movements here that can just change the angles that we're hitting. So it can be a bit more precise there, or we can pivot my forearm and it can be a bit broader. Yeah, it feels nice. Which is a bit nicer for Das, if we want to ramp it up, sharpen the pressure. And just slowly clearing through. You can also feel when you come up to some, almost like a speed bump in the hammy, so we've just got to slow down. We're not going around it, but as if you are driving a car, you've got to slow down and just navigate your way over it. Yeah. Um, it can sometimes feel right if you just flick over it slowly, but yeah, you don't want to fly over it and cause that traumatic, traumatic feeling. Yeah. Oh. I guess that's what separates us, isn't it, man, from the rest of the therapists out there is just the slowness, the depth. Yeah, that's right. The precision that we go with. Yep. Um, yeah, a lot of people ask, like, what's the difference between your, your technique? And it's just the depth, but the, um, yeah, the amount of... Uh, pressure. Pressure we apply. Yeah, I've just lost my words. All good, all good. We got that. <laughs> the, the precision the that we use. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I was looking for, being precise and <laughs> targeting the area that you're actually feeling the pain. So we're not, we're not running away from the pain. Don't worry, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, I just can't talk. Oh. <laughs> My brain's just frazzled. It's about 45 degrees in here and it's, oh, it's three gosh. degrees outside in Melbourne and the heater in here and I'm sweating up a storm. Oh. Ninja's got 10 layers on and I'm like, I might have to. Aaron tell me to take my shirt off. It might save the, it might save the video because my voice is not working. Home is where you make it. Nah, nah, we're all good, we're all good. Oh, bloody hell. So we're staying connected even though we're conversing here. We're talking to other peanuts yeah. on the camera. We're oh. still feeling under our elbow. You wait, this will be a million view and it's the fucking worst video of the day. Oh, it's great. Man. Keep going. Come on. Give it to me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mummy. Mummy. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to come around the other side oh. now. We're going to hit that medial line. Yeah, so, I love it. Sorry, Leo, you're going to have to... Spin around here. I'll use my other elbow so I can hook in. I love a change of those. position. Yeah. Oh, get into that full shit. hamstring line. That oh, he's hitting the right spots there. That adductor. Oh man, there's plenty of that. And that's, yeah, just light pressure in there. That's oh. pretty brutal. Oh, I'm running. So just holding there. Oh. We've got him rattled. We've got him on the ropes. Oh. He's on the ropes. <laughs> No, don't. No, we're just going to sit there, wait for it to ease up. Oh, probably have to just go Let's to my happy place. A few deep breaths, find your happy place. Oh, oh. far out. Oh. Oh, yep. A few twitches in there. 
clearing out some blocks of dust. Oh, I had, I had the weirdest REM sleep dream last night of you oh. four bastards last night. <laughs> I'll save it for my Patreon. For those that um, are on our Patreon or aren't yet, head to it. Click the link below. But Stay yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about my dream. Yeah. It was fucking weird. You spend all day with us, ain't you dreaming about it? Oh, it was weird. <laughs> it was weird. My dogs were in it. <laughs> we were in. Yeah, well, was Aaron your dog or something? He turned into. No, oh, we were in Adelaide, man, and the, oh, no, there was no, just so much, much going on. Thank you way too much. Oh, there's plenty. Oh, you got it a REM sleep. Yeah. Oh, because. Oh, well, yeah, I, I felt like it was midnight and then I woke up from it and it was 6 a.m. I'm like, I was spewing because, you know, when you still feel like you've got heaps of sleep to go, it was, I was like, oh, I've got to be up in an hour. That sleep, that dream was so intense. I feel like it was like absorbing my energy for today. <laughs> oh, you wait, mate, you wait. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Something, something's brewing in Dallas' oh, dreams. There was so much in it. Ninja was bloody... He was upset. <laughs> <laughs> Your mum's upset. <laughs> oh. oh, far out. Anyway, back to the hammy. We'll do this one more flush and then I'll show you something different we can do. We can get a bit of active passive release in there. Yeah, love an active release. Just <laughs> <laughs> does plenty of active release at home. He's, he's the active release king. Oh, you've Once got a it. day, isn't it, Dars? If you're not active releasing release. it actively, you're just you're holding back. You're missing out. That hamstring you're length, that hamstring <laughs> length isn't going to get any better if you're not active releasing. Oh, you're missing out, mate. Oh, 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 so you come back around the same side. We're going to start down at the knee. We're going to start with a flexed knee. And then <laughs> we know this is where Darcy's got some nasty spots. So yeah. we're starting broad with the palm. And then I'm not actually moving. What's creating the movement in this stroke is just by lowering the knee towards the table. Yeah, that feels nice. Oh, that's that and nice feel up pain. there. That nice pain, shout out to Hados, he loves a nice pain. This <laughs> oh, yeah. is bloody good, Chase. Thanks, Das. Oh. Tracing all the way up. Oh. Oh. Yes. You know what we need to do on our Patreon is get, treat the cameraman. Treat the cameraman. Treat, yeah. Oh, he's due. Fire up, there's lots in that. Oh. Just take a deep breath, try and relax the tissues there, Das. There we go. Sorry, mate. You're all right. Yeah, as a person receiving your treatment, you gotta make sure you're not tensing up and, and you know, tightening up the tissue because you're just not gonna get as much out of it. Or well, you're not suffering in silence. Some you're people are lying there silence. and then you check in and they're like, oh yeah, I was really struggling, but they're just not telling you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's important to yeah talk about what you're going through yeah. so the practitioner knows. Yeah. Obviously we can feel if you're fighting us, but yeah, if you're really tensing up everywhere else, it's not gonna have the same, same effect. Yeah. We're all about being effective. That's right. So once we've gone through treatment, we're going to also show you an exercise that we can take DAS through that'll help to uh, concentrate, con contract that hamstring. So get that shortening and work on that uh, posterior tilt. Oh yeah. We'll finish this one off up under that glute fold there where we found DAS had some gold. That Coming back to that word, effectiveness, I'm pretty sure it's um, one of Ninja's favourites. Ninja's favourite word, we effectiveness. We get some bloopers of Ninja. One day we were out filming our course. How many takes do you he took? I think it wasn't many, maybe 760. <laughs> <laughs> he was having a fair crack at it. <laughs> he got to the point where he was saying, if it did this. <laughs> it's one of his favourite sayings, but he could not spit it out. And he was looking at us going, was that alright? <laughs> it is no. not alright, mate. You go, you buddy. Effectiveness, and he just he just cracked it, and we had to change the word. Aaron, he had to get Aaron in to do it. To, oh do it yeah, for that's him. right. The thing is, it's one of his favourite sayings, but he just could not spit it out. Yeah, a tongue twister. 
What's your favourite tongue twister? <laughs> Uh, How many wood could wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are you talking about, Leo? Sally Sally sell seashells. All right, so we'll wrap it up there for treatment and we'll go into an exercise with Dars now. All right, are we on? Thanks, we're Leo. On, we're we're back. back. So we're going to go through the exercise. So this one's going to help to contract and shorten that hamstring, all right? So if you look down here at Dars' back, the first thing we want him to do is tuck his bum under. So he's using his glutes here. So make sure your glutes are on so you can actually get your hands and touch them. So tuck under there. So even that, uh, you'll start to feel some activation through the glute and the hamstring. Then what we're going to do, so Dars is going to just pull his heels down into the table there. So just lifting his legs off a little bit. That's it. And then just bring your arms so they're beside you there, Dars. So now he's in this position, he's staying in that posterior tilt, tucking under. Now we're going to get him to do some breathing. So he's going to breathe in through his nose and then full exhale out his mouth. He's going to pull his ribs down and tuck under, 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 under. And he's keeping that Crazy. pelvic tilt, all right? Nice slow breath out, Das, like you're blowing out a candle. That's it. Pull the ribs down, tuck the pelvis under, and he's keeping the heels digging in. So this is creating that connection in the hamstrings shortening but he's also getting some glute activation and some core as well good daft we're going to go through three more breaths so breathing out good and see it nice and slow nice and slow keep tucking keep tucking keep tucking good man good and see it full exhale nice and slow tuck 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 keep going oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah keep going keep going keep going that's it keep going das keep going Hammy's on, hammy's on. Good man, last one. Good. Full breath out and keep tucking this pelvis. Keep tucking your pelvis. Keep tucking, keep tucking. That's it. So you can even touch it yourself. You want to keep, um, yeah, that muscular connection there. So tapping, tapping can really help and take a break there, Dars. Oh, man. Good. So Those just hammies are so loaded. Yeah, yep. so you really get, so with the heels on the table, you get a lot more uh, proximal hamstring, so higher hammy. If you want to get more, um, yeah, distal. Di distal towards the knee, you'll go more feet on the table or forefoot, okay? So that's the difference. Um, so yeah, if you're having some issues and your uh, stretching's not fixing hammies, come in for treatment, go through this exercise and we'll help you out. Thanks guys.